Ice Sketch Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. We reached over 10,000 subscribers. We're trying to reach 20,000 to 50 to 100 to 500 to a million. And we could do it. All October, you know what it is. This is the look. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is a serious topic that we're going to discuss. Israel and Palestine is at war. We're going to uh, watch a video explaining what happened and why it's the way it is. Who raised you? bar was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other. what yo i can't understand it neither oh uh, yeah man we back all right so we just gonna watch this video we're gonna let the whole video play i'm not gonna stop it or nothing we're just gonna let it play and then we're gonna come back and discuss and that's it all right, so let's go. Pay attention, people. Israel, the world's only Jewish state, located east of the Mediterranean Sea, and Palestine, the territory of the Arab population that hails from the Israel-controlled land, have long been known for their enduring conflict with the Israeli occupation of the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. The tension between Israel and Palestine has been deteriorating in years, climaxing with many violent clashes between the two sides. To understand the root of the Israel-Palestine conflict, we have to look back a few thousand years ago. Early History of Israeli-Palestinian Conflict In the 17th centuries BC, following the call of God, three patriarchs of the Jewish people, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, settled in Canaan, a region approximating present-day Israel, the West Bank, and the Gaza Strip, parts of Lebanon, Syria, and Jordan. The region later had the name the Land of Israel, the Promised Land, the Palestine region, or the Holy Land. In 1000 BC, King Saul established the Israelite monarchy, which then was ruled by King David who made Jerusalem the capital of his kingdom, and his son King Solomon who built the first temple in Jerusalem. After the death of King Solomon, the united monarchy was split into the Kingdom of Israel in the north, with Samaria as the capital and the Kingdom of Judah in the south, with Jerusalem as the capital. The land became home to a majority of Jews, but then it was subject to numerous conquests of various groups, leading to the significant decrease of the Jewish population on the land. One of these conquests was conducted by the Roman Empire, who gave the name Palestine to Judah, intending to break the Jewish connection with the land of Israel. During this time, Christianity, which started as a Jewish sect, ultimately became a dominant religion toward the end of the Roman Empire. In the 7th century came an Arab conquest, beginning the spread of Islam. The Dome of the Rock was built on the ruin of the Second Temple, making Jerusalem the holy city to three monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. After Christians in Jerusalem were intensely persecuted by the Seljuk Turks, a Central Asian empire with ambition to expand its territory, Christians in Europe launched several crusades to bring the holy city back to the hand of the Christians. Killed. Others were making pilgrimages everywhere, mostly in Western Europe. From the 16th century to World War I, the Holy Land, along with much of the Middle East, was ruled by the Ottoman Empire, an Islamic superpower. The land was unofficially called Palestine. At the same time in Europe, more and more Jews were joining a movement called Zionism, aiming to create a Jewish national state in its ancient homeland. Hence, in the first decade of the 20th century, tens of thousands of Jews moved from Europe back to the region. Israel and Palestine under the British rule World War I exploded and ended with the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. Its land in the Middle East was carved by the British and French empires. 
The British then gave more independence for Iraq and Jordan, and the region remaining under the control of Britain was what it called the British Mandate for Palestine, where Britain promised to establish a Jewish national homeland under its Balfour Declaration, which went into effect in 1923. Tensions between the Jews and the Arabs who both claimed the land grew, which even led to acts of violence. By the 1930s, following the increasing Jewish population in Palestine due to the fear of persecution during the Nazi reign in Germany, the British limited Jewish immigration. In response, the Jewish militias formed to both fight the Arabs and resist the British rule. Then came the Holocaust throughout Nazi Germany, which claimed almost six million Jewish lives. After the war, more and more Jews then fled from Europe to Palestine to seek a homeland, escalating the tension with the Arabs. Overwhelmed by the situation, Britain began to withdraw from the region. The Birth of the Israel State After World War II, the UN proposed a plan to partition Palestine into two independent states, a Jewish state and an Arab state, with the city of Jerusalem becoming an international zone with a special status. However, the plan according to which the Jewish, accounting for only one-third of the population, was granted more territory, 56.5% of the land, was rejected by the Arabs. They began to form volunteer armies throughout Palestine. Less than one year after that, as Britain completed its withdrawal from Palestine, Israel declared itself an independent state, marking a new, bloodier chapter in the struggle between the Jews and the Palestinian Arabs. The 1948 Arab-Israeli War Right after the announcement of an independent Israel, a war between the Arabs and the Jews broke out, which was known as the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The war involved five recently independent Arab nations, Egypt, Jordan, Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon, the Arab League, who invaded the region in an attempt to establish a unified Arab Palestine. However, a ceasefire agreement was reached a year later in which more than two-thirds of historic Palestine, including the West Jerusalem, belonged to Israel, while Jordan occupied East Jerusalem and the area known as the West Bank, and Egypt occupied the Gaza Strip. As a result, more than 750,000 Palestinians were expelled from the land where they lived for centuries on the day that they call Al-Nakba, or the Catastrophe. With the deteriorated dispute between the Jews and the Arabs, there came more wars and fighting in the following decades. The Sixty Day War It was in 1967 when the Sixty Day War broke out, after a volatile period of diplomatic friction and skirmishes between Israel and its neighboring Arab states, Jordan, Syria, and Egypt. This brief war ended with the victory of Israel, giving Israel control over the Golan Heights from Syria, the West Bank and East Jerusalem from Jordan, and Gaza and the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt. Sinai was later returned to Egypt under the Egypt-Israel Peace Treaty. After the war, most Palestinian refugees and their descendants were not allowed to return to their homes, but had to live in Gaza, the West Bank, and neighboring Jordan, Syria, and Lebanon. The First Intifada and the Oslo Accords The rising number of Israelis settling in the Palestinian territories in the West Bank and Gaza gave rise to the PLO, the Palestinian Liberation Organization, first founded in Cairo, Egypt in 1964 to create a liberated Palestine in Israel. The PLO launched attacks on Israel from its base in Jordan. It was then forced to move from Jordan to Lebanon, starting to carry out acts of terrorism against Israel. Fighting went on for years, including the Israeli invasion of Lebanon to kick the PLO out of Beirut. The PLO eventually agreed to divide the land between Palestine and Israel, but there were still more and more Jewish settlers moved into the Israel-occupied Palestinian territories. In 1987, a violent Palestinian uprising was ignited, starting from the Jabalaya refugee camp after an Israeli Defense Forces truck collided with two Palestinian civilian vans, killing four of them. This was known as the First Intifada. This bloody conflict resulting in hundreds of deaths triggered a peace process with the signing of the Oslo Accords by Israel and the PLO, the Oslo I Accord signed in Washington DC, and the Oslo II Accord in Taba, Egypt. 
According to the Oslo Accords, the West Bank was divided into three areas. Area A was exclusively controlled by the Palestinians. Area B was controlled by both the Palestinians and Israel. Area C was fully controlled by Israel. The Second Intifada Though further peace talks continued in 2000, the Israelis and Palestinians could not reach agreements on issues like the status of Jerusalem, rights of refugees, and the increased Jewish settlement in Palestinian lands. Ariel Sharon, a Jewish Israeli who would later become Israel's Prime Minister, visited the Temple Mount, home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. The action was deemed offensive by many Palestinians, and the Second Intifada broke out. The violence ended with Israel's withdrawal from Gaza, but continued to settle in the West Bank. Israel Conflict with Hamas Hamas is a Sunni Islamist militant group aiming to destroy the state of Israel and create an Islamic state. After the armed conflict between Hamas and Fatah, who managed the PLO, Hamas split from the Palestinian Authority and gained power in the Gaza. Israel put Gaza under a suffocating blockade, leading to several bloody wars between the two groups in the Gaza Strip, including Operation Cast Lead, Operation Pillar of Defense, and Operation Protective Edge. In 2014, Hamas and Fatah reached agreement to form a national unity government. In 2018, the U.S. Embassy was relocated from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, which was deemed by the Palestinians as a signal of American support for Jerusalem as Israel's capital. 2021, the conflict between Israel and Palestine was reassumed by a series of hostile events in East Jerusalem, leading to several acts of violence until a ceasefire deal brokered by Egypt, Qatar, and the United Nations came into effect on May 21st. Peaceful though it may seem now, the complex and long-lasting territorial dispute between two states is a ticking time bomb that can explode any time. So that was recorded four years ago, I believe. Wow. That was recorded four years ago. Let me see. Two years ago. So when so, he said okay. uh, it's a ticking time bomb, this is what happened. But there was a deal that was brokered, I believe. There was a deal. And I ain't going to get into all that. I'm just going to say... um. Um, sad, sad situation, and I'm not gonna really uh, speak on either side. I'm just gonna say this whole war thing need to stop. So, I guess that's it for me. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna just piggyback off of you. You know what I mean? Um, I don't like war neither. You know. Uh, I feel like war just leads to more war, but <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to dig too deep. I'm not even going to try to dig too deep. You know, uh, it explains itself. So some things are just better left unsaid. So there you have it. <laughs> yeah. That's it, man. We learned something new today. Yeah. All right, man. We out of here. Sketch pad. Yeah. See ya. Peace. Bye.